Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you haven't already, subscribe and also hit the notification button if you want to hear about every single time I post. And yeah, so today we are going to be revamping my closet, which is going to be easy, at home, quarantine activity. I'm going to hopefully turn this into like some sort of distressed crop top, very similar to my last video. And if you haven't watched that already, watch that because it has a lot of tutorial parts that will help out with this video. So yeah, distressed crop top. And then for this one, I think I'm just gonna be cutting off the waistband because it's, it's kind of small, but just the waistband is. I think I'm just gonna cut off that. But yes, just that. And then this, I'm going to be hopefully bleach tie dyeing cropping maybe. Maybe a cute little workout shirt because it's like a stretchy fabric. So yeah, and then this was left over from my last video, but I was thinking about making one of those cute little headbands, and yeah, maybe that. And then this, I actually bought it and then it didn't fit, but I wasn't able to return it. But it's also kind of tight on the waistband, so I think I'm just going to cut off the bottom just a little bit, just like this part, make it a little bit shorter. So yeah, and here are all the better before photos. Let's get into it. Before starting this video, I tried on the shirt and made a little dot right at my belly button. And then I made lines around that. If you want to check out more details about cropping a shirt, check out my video that I had made previous to this. And I first, for distressing, just made little notches in the sleeves, very small holes because they will always get bigger. So you want to start out small always. Same with the cropping, always start out longer. And I did the same to the neckline, and I also did the same to the bottom. You just cannot see because of my head. So sorry for that. And then for this, this was an old piece from my last video of the bottom of the crop shirt, and I just cut out about two to three inches thick, and then I cut it in half, and it made a long hair tie. All I did here was just cut off the bottom of this tight waistline, just made an old sweatshirt into a new one, and I also did the same thing here, but I eventually ended it up cropping it more I just did not show because I was trying it on cropping it trying it on cropping it so just kind of see where you want it for this athletic shirt I tried a new method of bleach tie dyeing by putting it in bunches and using rubber bands around them and you can do as many as you want I did about five or six and yeah you just make a little bunch with your hands and then put a hair tie around it I also decided to use spray bleach this time instead of bottled bleach because it made a more airbrush effect and it was easier with the bunches. And I didn't put that much on because it was a very thin fabric and I did not want the bleach to eat through the fabric. And then after about two minutes I rinsed it out with water because lash, the last shirt that I bleached I did not rinse it out so in the washer the water turned into bleach water and bleached the whole shirt. Check out my previous video for more details, but next step is to put it in the washer and then the dryer. After washing and drying, I put on the shirt, made a dot right at my belly button, now I just made a line and all I did was crop it. Here are all the finished products and I love how they all turned out. The headband can be done many different ways, but that's just how I like to style it. And yeah, as you can see, I did end up cutting the star sweatshirt just a little bit more, but it's basically the same. Loved how the tie-dye turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell, follow my socials. Instagram is Living Life Virtually. My blog is livinglifevirtually.com. And all my other socials will be linked down below. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.